Hi Cancer, this is Sha, and this is your mid-month reading. I'm just taking the cards away to make more room so there won't be any shadows on the other cards. And um, welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot. And I hope you enjoyed the monthlies. I know they were extended, and they seem the mid-month seemed to be extended as well, which is. Uh, strange um, uh, but they take on a life of their own I had uh, problems with Pisces uh, just wouldn't um, uh, work right and it took me all day before I could get it to work so I think I'll just have to go with the flow and accept it that they've got a life of their own and I'm using the uh, Tarot of the Psi and also the Oracle of the Radiant Sun with the astrological signs, that's these cards, the moon and the uh, zodiac signs, and I'm also using the journey oracle and the healing angel, um, a li healing a light and angel cards. Um, there's just a couple of things. Thank you very much for liking and sharing, and uh, also um, becoming a member of the channel by subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, please do and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded or when I go live. I've been very busy and I still haven't got uh, up to date on my website, but I'm getting there slowly but surely because I'm making so many videos um, and they're extensive so they take more time to do. There's also uh, new aspects, the astrological aspects, and that's what I want to bring you up to date with as well, because we're going into Gemini, so that's a different air, um, uh, season again. Uh, there is a video on characteristics and the energy of Gemini, what it means, um, the characteristics of a Gemini, and how you can use the in, uh, energy or of Gemini to your advantage or to enhance anything in particular like wisdom or uh, authoritative uh, uh, things or legal things or how to communicate and when to communicate as we are also going into Mercury retrograde on the 29th of May until it goes direct on the 22nd of June. The full moon is on the 26th and the new moon is on the 10th of Gemini. Now you might be a cross watcher, so happy birthday if you're a Gemini. And remember that uh, your zodiac sign is not only the sun sign but also the moon sign and rising sign. Those are the three prominent signs that make us who we are. So if you might you might be rising Gemini or you might be moon Gemini and the sun sign Cancer. So Cancer, happy um, uh, month to you and I hope you can use these readings to your advantage. The energy is clearing, the uh, Gemini energy is wisdom, communication and municipalities and institutions hospitals, schools, uh, government institutions, any other institutions as clubs or anything like that or theatre or anything like that. But you come in with your own card and that's the overall energy uh, cancer because you've got the chariot. You have victory. You're the champion or the, you're the champion and you've got victory. You're moving onwards and upwards. This could mean promotions, pay rises. You could be going on holiday, moving home. You could be buying a car. If you've had your eye on a car, it could be yours this month. It's also number seven, so that means that you are already uh, in luck. Luck is on your side. Then we have that's the overall energy uh, from the tarot cards. Now, we have generosity. Perhaps you are being generous and that could mean that you are uh, not thinking about yourself, you're uh, ciphering yourself away by giving your time, your attention, your love, 
uh, your goodness to others. Now this is Saturn in Leo and this is the Leo sign, that is the Saturn sign and Saturn stands for ambition and Saturn is quite a forceful sign as uh, ambitious you need to be forceful uh, gentle but forceful um, to uh, um, to advance and you can see that it relates to the chariot because that means champion you're going for what you want your head strong this is the psychological uh, mental aspect of strength uh, then strength is the physical strength so you might be um, having brilliant ideas and um, using those to put them out in the real world as that is what you should do in Taurus okay now Saturn is res uh, also means responsible responsibility boundaries structure and those are the uh, you want structure so perhaps you've created structure and uh, that is the chariot you've been moving towards structure b setting your boundaries letting others know your boundaries but perhaps you've slightly forgotten that there because we do have generosity and generosity like I said you might be overdoing it and ciphering yourself away but you've got recognition publicly and from family and friends so make sure you set your boundaries in with now in uh, uh, the next four weeks or rather the two weeks the third week and the fourth week or you can use each card as a separate week and, and see whether it resonates to your monthly do you want to come up, Millie? Come on then. Good girl. Go in your bed. Um, so that is um, also um, the message that I'm getting. There could be a prominent Leo around you, or there could be a Leo coming into your um, life in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Leo, the card strength represents Leo, so I auto automatically uh, have to think of strength, the tarot card strength. Um, a lion is strong, and um, like I said, the lion, the strength card is Leo, so you might, could be in your strength from now until Leo or even in Leo. Be as strong as a lion. You are mentally strong but you might have to be physically strong as well. So make sure you take enough rest. Okay. Um, this man also represents an enthusiastic speaker, a presentator, so you might have to speak to a Leo or do a presentation of some card kind or this could be at large gatherings as well or passing on your knowledge um, generosity generosity uh, generosity you might uh, I'm get also getting this this could be the teacher and these could be the people you might be passing on knowledge to another generation or to people that are not as highly uh, qualified in what you're going to speak about then we have the maker prince and the maker prince is the uh, knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles can represent any of the earth signs um, and that is Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn uh, you could be dealing with them or there could be prominent uh, earth signs within your life you could have to ha you might have to have a, a, a talk to them and make them realize to for example take care of their health because I do see the card here it looks like a child is sick and is being nurtured by its mother so that could be the uh, meaning okay um, th that is the moon in Aries so somebody might have become ill or uh, 
downhearted in the sign of Aries and Aries stands for self-will perhaps they wanted to do something and they thought they were as strong as you are and they went ahead and did it but they're not so strong uh, m physically but perhaps mentally they were pushing themselves too hard this could also uh, be that you might have to discuss with somebody uh, about a property thinking about a property moving this is moving home if you have moved home then you might have to think uh, about uh, the property because you might have had ideas in Aries because idea uh, Aries is the first house and that's dreaming also ideas and that you have to materialize them in Taurus okay this could also be upsets within the family so you might have to talk to somebody within the family or uh, uh, the the um, friends circle because you've got recognition from family and friends let alone from the outside world but you people look up to you because you are a nurturing type you can also be empathic which means you can replace yourself into their situations and this is what I'm also seeing in Taurus and also a little bit in Gemini so think of yourself be the tiger be as strong as a tiger um, be the feline be like a pussycat until you need to roar okay <laughs> but news could be coming to you from one of these people or it could be news about something that is sustainable like a property uh, or a job something that's tangible durable and f for long term you might have to discuss something with the family with regards to a property uh, let me have a look well uh, I was thinking perhaps about inheritance or taking care of a property or you might be coming into a property but I'm not seeing that straight off the cusp so let's carry on you also have the dreamer princess the princess is the page and dreamer is swords swords stand for communication wisdom um, uh, or um, uh, authority so this could indeed be that you could be moving home you could be discussing with the family about the property whether to buy or not this could be that you're getting news because you've made an offer and now you are getting news from the uh, authority concerned to come and sign the documents also um, the dreamer princess is usually Aquarius as that's the page of swords but don't forget Gemini or Libra so you could be signing documents within um, Gemini the period of Gemini try to do this before the 29th or after the 21st uh, of 22nd of June when we are in Cancer that is your sign now this is um, uh, Capricorn uh, sorry uh, this is Jupiter in uh, Capricorn this is uh, it looks a bit like the sign of Virgo the V from Virgo so I'm still there are different signs and sometimes they're not very clear so that's why I am really a bit sometimes a bit forgetful so the, you could be signing contracts for a job or for a house something for long term um, within uh, the third week and remember time is man-made so if it is not happening in the third week it could happen in the fourth week but if the fourth week it, the 29th you could already feel the mercury retrograde great energy um, on the 27th the 26th is on a Wednesday so um, yeah it's giving a push on Friday the 28th but I would be careful 
check and double check if there is somebody in the family that can help you and advise you as well. Um, Capricorn also means uh, duty and also uh, perseverance. Uh, so persevere, don't give up if you your first offer is reclined for a house and you're receiving news. It seems like backwards and forwards, but I think eventually the offer will be accepted. The news could be about a child, of course. You could find out you're pregnant, um, but um, that you got pregnant in Gemini time, but it's very premature to find out because you really have to be a couple of weeks pregnant before you realize changes in the body. Um, I do get children here, the children here, children there, um, that is the uh, the page. Um, also, uh, let me see. Uh, it, it, if it isn't about a pregnancy, it definitely could be news about a child or coming from a child. And then you come in with um, Mercury, Mercury in Gemini. Mercury is in Gemini because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is about change. Mercury is about mental, uh, mental wisdom, mental uh, enhancing the mental uh, process, like studying, uh, also being more aware. And Mercury is also fluidity, means that g make it more fluent. Let it go with the flow. Um, it also uh, offers insight uh, into intellect and reasoning. So you might be, especially with this card, excitement, you might be excited, but you could also be changing your mind with regards to something. You might be asked to hold a speech, a debate, and um, that is the, this is the leader. Uh, like I said, you might be, um, telling people or teaching people something or enlightening people um, I think you are a leader the next couple of weeks um, if not in Gemini um, because things are uh, quite um, people are looking up to you because you're the champion and yes um, this is also the, the swords um, the page of swords so you might have to uh, pass on official news. You might be speaking publicly or, or something about um, an official uh, something, uh, official news. Um, also, you might have to make an important decision for the crowd. Okay. Mm, you might have a busy social calendar as well. So, make sure that you have the uh, information, the right information, um, especially with the Mercury retrograde um, situation. Make sure that um, everything is transparent and clear. Uh, clarity uh, prevails. You need clarity to maintain the balance because you have the high priestess here and there might be secrets around you or you might be playing the cards close to your chest. You also have the number two here and that looks more like an 11 so there is a new beginning the angelic doorway I call that so watch out for the number 11 you might be highly intuitive more intuitive um, because you are cancer you are a water sign and you might be really um, feeling the big energy change with the mercury retrograde and the full moon so close together but you are excited but don't uh, you know if you're buying a house don't be too excited um, don't show that you want it desperately because then they can come backwards and forwards because we've got the two uh, uh, new springers so be careful don't hide hide your enthusiasm at the right time at the right in the right place you do have number three so be creative use it to your advantage the energy uh, that is surrounding you 
now you've got the dual nationality Gemini and you can Libra is dual nationality you've got Gemini here you're in Gemini so the power can be really heavy and fast going slow down this is what I'm hearing you can't run before you walk you might know something, you might want to t shout it from the rooftops and tell everybody about it. Uh, also, uh, enhance other people's wisdom, but please take time and take rest to maintain your balance because you are a very sensitive, emotional person, especially with these major energies and shifts happening. We're having one Gemini, Taurus into Gemini then we have the full moon then we have the retrograde great so wow and then we've got the, the after that in June we have the new moon and also with the Jupiter the moon energy well that could be the full moon that you are uh, trying to protect the people that you love perhaps with information it could be uh, uh, an Aries that's giving you the information could be uh, a Leo, Aries, um, Capricorn, Gemini or it could be uh, again uh, Capricorn. Capricorn is quite prominent okay you have the Prince which is the Knight of uh, Pentacles so that could be that Capricorn that comes into your life or that is prominent in your life please maintain the balance and take it step by step you also have the Dancer 8 the Dancer 8 is the eight of cups perhaps you might be seeking uh, a new horizon you want adventure you want change but you can't just start off on a new path don't throw away old shoes before you have a new pair of shoes the eight of cups look I love this way it is really um, depicted here because it's like drowning you might be drowning if you're throwing away your old job or your old hobby or your old partner before you have a new partner well it's not very uh, good to to be unfaithful and to seek a new partner uh, I know that but there could be somebody waiting in the wings so don't just throw everything in the wind okay make sure that you balance maintain balance in your life and that the transition from the old to the new is um, less uh, cumbersome as possible I'm sorry I've got to take a drink so you might want to escape the, uh, the tantrum uh, the, the dullness the dandrum uh, how do you call it the dull moments you want to escape stagnation that's also the key word you, uh, I know we've been in COVID and everybody's bored with this um, delay with this lockdown but we are coming out of it now slowly but gently and you don't want to shock the system your system or any other system we've got number 10 here which means an ending and new beginnings you have the Sun in Capricorn and um, the Sun in Capricorn means uh, duty perseverance and you know you you were, did have excitement and that was the change so you are already getting warned for the change from the old traditional like the towers broken down but it's not the tarot but um, old uh, wisdom um, old things are breaking down you're going into the new this is the rays of sunlight like sun comes after rain a little bit like the Lenormand so that is absolutely positive your creativity and your endurance will persevere to success but don't do things in haste I am taping this in tourist so perhaps that is also of influence and the Sun here you are and Leo gets represented by the Sun card 
and I feel that you're going to get a surprise because I've got an itchy nose so that means good news uh, could be a Capricorn that surprises you but Capricorn is also an earth sign so you will be more earthed um, at the end of the month that's the feeling but there's big changes coming you might be dealing with uh, people um, that are of influence that they could be uh, um, uh, also you might be taking on more responsibility uh, you might have, you have got the recognition so distinction is around you um, and yeah uh, this could happen at work a promotion like I said you might get a distinction or you might uh, find a hobby that separates you from the rest a very distinctive hobby uh, also with influential and famous people okay look at this that looks like the Parliament buildings okay definitely you are riding your steed like a right knight you are going into Gemini this is the Gemini site and you're seeing rays of sunshine boom victory look at this you are riding high now the last card that you have um, uh, cancer is the goddess card and how else can I close this off riding your steed like the knight you might be the king that's coming back home from the holy grail and that's riding your steed or you could be the goddess you have turned into something wonderful and beautiful perhaps you didn't realize how good you were because you were ciphering yourself away because you were protecting everybody else you were giving everybody uh, information on how to do it take um, give and teaching people things um, but now you are like the prophet uh, you have been the prophet perhaps like the prophet a teacher a guide but you're sitting on top of the world the world is your oyster something is coming around full circle you've got two tens wow uh, you have an, also the angelic number new beginning so definitely you are coming in big and you're being noticed and you will be bold but calm down don't run before you can walk this is number 36 um, and I'm reading it a little bit from the book but to me you have reached your pentacle uh, summit your pinnacle um, the pinnacle being noticed being how gorgeous you are how nurturing you are and how artistic you are this card means powerful women who once walked the earth watch over you now so angelic people this could be a mother figure the high priestess uh, could be a grandmother could be the angels what this card means the goddess she is the ultimate symbol of all that is feminine like the Empress it's funny enough that we didn't have the Empress here or the Queen of Pentacles and she walks with you this card appears because she wants you to exalt and you that is the pentacle uh, pinnacle of your life you've reached the point uh, you want to exalt in your womanhood or the traits that link to your feminine side you radiate beauty power and all that you say and do the world will see the goddess in you today and be inspired yes definitely if you're a teacher a guide somebody passing on their knowledge on to the people that haven't got that knowledge yet like I said before you sign any documents be careful because you've got the snake now look at that beautiful color green it's like emerald so um, yes emerald is the green of the forest again um, beautiful so there could be a snake in the grass a snake 
is uh, be careful of slavery and, and smooth talked uh, people, smooth talkers, slippery people. Read the contracts before you sign them. Uh, remember the Mercury retrograde, so this is also a warning. A snake could also be you might be uh, losing your old skin and going into a new new skin as they shed their skin every six months I think or six weeks I'm not quite sure it can also be a medical card right working getting a job in the medical system because you see the snake uh, on a, um, a scepter and that means that is a doctor's car Okay. Snakes are incredible creatures. They can shed their skin, get into the most amazing positions and attack quickly. If you require speed and transformation or just an opportunity that you need to snap up quickly, this is the animal you need to call. They like to bathe in the sun and have wonderful vision. So keep your eyes out for an opportunity to change your life changing your life okay and you've got the Sun card the Leo okay Leo here and the Sun card there so the Sun is in your spectrum maybe it is time for a holiday in the Sun if you need one and we've got the chariot travel okay beautiful and here as well actually okay as the uh, snake ask the snake to pick out a destination and pack for a sunny day the rattler will let you know by rattling his tail that you are in his territory so this little chap can help you when someone is stepping on your toes or needs a little reminder to back off so listen to the little rattle within you your intuition open your solar plex um, and also your heart and your third mind after all you've got the high priestess um, in your reading she's spiritual she does rem uh, uh, represent the triple moon goddess and that is Pisces and Cancer for me so you are here and here you be careful around the Monday of the fourth week or the third week the Monday of the third week but you will come out shining like roses whatever you do so long you tread carefully and check and double check in the mercury retrograde listen to your intuition that is your inner alarm system warning you okay and that's nature's alarm system don't ignore it I can't emphasize that enough I hope you have enjoyed this reading cancer take care my little crabs and big kiss big hugs and stay safe and be blessed and please like and share and uh, also Uh, sorry, please like and share and please um, have a wonderful month and take care. And if you're going on holiday, safe journeys. Ciao, ciao.